physical changes now physical changes are those changes in which the pro physical property changes the chemical property remains unaltered that means i can witness a change in shape a change in size a change in color and usually no new substances formed so there can be changes in the state of matter there can be separation of mixtures there can be physical deformations if i have this paper and i uh, if i have this paper in hand and i crush this paper so there is a deformation but i can again make this paper normal so this is an example of a physical change only energy is added or removed and mass is not involved in a physical change this physical change can be as crystallization as sublimation we would understand that in a why so let's move with the various examples of physical change so coming to the examples of physical change i have a scale here i bend this scale and this scale regains its shape so there is a change in shape and this shape turns back what it is definitely a physical change i have another example a paper here i fold this paper this is a physical change but again it is a reversible change because i can unfold this paper again the next is i take this paper i already have teared one i tear another piece of it this is again a physical change there is no change in the chemical property but yes this is a non reversible change because i cannot join this paper again without a cello tape okay let's move to another example i have a pear already i have taken one slice so let me take another slice and this is an example of a physical change cutting through knife is a physical change another examples of physical change i can say is a candle here i light this candle now visualize carefully what i am trying to explain here first we will talk with respect to candle itself with respect to candle when this candle is blowing now when this candle is blowing it is burning the wax now this burning of the wax which is seen is a chemical change note but the wax which is melting here is a physical change this melted wax can again be collected and formed as another candle so melting of the wax would be a physical change but the burning would be a chemical change that was one thing now what i do uh, i missed something okay so here i have a piece of blade not a piece of blade a blade itself okay so what i do is i take out this blade and i have a tong here i just put this in the tong and i heat it i heat it till the time it becomes red so probably you can see the corner has gone a little blackish as you can visualize here so the color has changed now when it dries or when it becomes cold i can just remove the sooth and the color again becomes normal so there was a change in color and this is a physical change so with this blade we did one example which is an example of a physical change again i take this pencil and a sharpener so let's have some fun time i am sharpening this pencil and this is an example of physical change no chemical change occurred here simply the rolls have come out again another example okay so i have a bottle of sanitizer here now this sanitizer i take into some hand i take some of it into hand and rub it so it goes off and it is basically volatile so what happens is this is an example of a physical change so we have understood some of the examples for physical change let's proceed further so let's talk about some further examples i have not brought it because by the time i would have brought it it would have melted but the idea is i take snow uh, i take snow or i take ice and melt it so this is a
physical change that melted ice can again be reformed into ice bag and therefore is an example of physical change. Water cycle, formation of clouds, rain occurring, evaporation taking place, all of those is an example of what? Physical change. So the whole of the hydrological cycle which we see is an example of a physical change. Definitely I cannot bring it here. So you might not worry about it. The next is physical change due to hydration. Now this is where we have an interesting example of cobalt chloride. Now cobalt chloride is a very fascinating example. I have certain cobalt chloride with me and this is pink in color. It responds very well with the humidity. So it is also known as humidity indicator. What I do is this pink colored beautiful cobalt chloride, I start to heat it. Now as soon as I heat it, what would happen? It changes to blue. Now, what would happen again? I leave it for a while. It would start to absorb moisture and again turn pink. And this is a physical change. And this physical change is due to hydration. So, when we take cobalt chloride, it is pink in color. When we heat it, it becomes blue in color. Then left again, it absorbs moisture, becomes pink in color. And this is a physical change due to hydration. A beautiful example to understand the changes of color. The next is physical change due to crystallization. So for this, we take certain water in a beaker and add few drops of copper sulfate into it. And with the copper sulfate, we also uh, put some kind of salt crystals or sulfuric acid and start to boil it. Now, this copper sulfate solution over the time would uh, form copper sulfate crystals. And that is how we basically understand this process. So here we have a copper sulfate solution. What I, what I do is copper sulfate with me. What I do is I take a little of this copper sulfate and put it in a beaker. Now probably I don't know whether this would turn into successful experiment for now or not. But yes, this copper sulfate is there in this solution. And what is next is to understand that this copper sulfate solution, if I heat it, what would happen? When I heat it, this copper sulfate solution would, the copper sulfate would crystallize again. And this is a physical change which occurs and this is due to crystallization. The next important example that we understood was due to sublimation. So dry ice in which you usually have your ice creams which are kept by ice cream vendors is a very good example of physical change. So that dry ice basically converts directly from a solid form and it gets dispersed, it disappears, that is it changes into gas. So changing from a solid form to a gaseous form, for example, dry ice, that is the uh, frozen form of carbon dioxide is an example of sublimation. Another good example of sublimation is camphor. So again changes from solid form into a gaseous form. So these are some of the ways through which we understand physical changes. In this section we have understood the various changes that are physical in nature.